fine. Uh, okay, we'll we'll take it in speed for the first two exercise. We'll see to it how how you good how good you understand understood, and then we'll continue. Okay, so uh, you know that the basic things that is sine theta, cos theta, and all that is sine theta equals opposite upon uh, hypotenuse. Yeah, cos theta equals adjacent upon hypotenuse. Yeah, and your tan theta equals opposite upon adjacent. Adjacent. Yeah, with respect to triangle. If I say this is my triangle, if I say this is uh, one of my triangle, and then if this is theta, okay. If this is A B C. Now for this triangle, the value of sine theta will be what opposite upon hypotenuse. That is A B upon A C. Cos theta will be adjacent upon hypotenuse. That is B C upon A C. Yeah, and tan theta will be opposite upon adjacent. That is, AB upon BC. Yeah, this all things you are already taught to you, right? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, fine. Now, uh, yeah. Sir, also we have been taught that tan theta is equal to sine upon cos and yes, cos is equal to cos upon sine. Huh. Okay, okay, fine. Uh, if this kind of questions have been solved or not, tell me. Uh. If sine a equals three by five, then what will be the value of tan a and cos a? Solve, sir. मतलब इसी in school for me. No, no, not school, not school. We, I'm talking about only in the classes. No, no, sir. no, sir. This kind of question is okay, okay. How do you draw the table? Which one? Only one value you have to remember. How do you draw the table? Can you? Any one of you? Can you explain? How do you draw the table? Just a random. Sir, number. first we write zero, one, two, three, four. Then we divide it by four. Then Take root square. like then simplify then root. Yeah, fine. Okay, and then uh, the values of sine theta you write by taking the square root, right? And then cos theta reciprocal tan theta is sine by cos. cos yes. Yeah. Fine. Fine. Okay. Fine. Now in this question, uh, this is an easy question. Okay, in this question, in the second question. Okay. What do you have from the following figure? Find the values of cos b. If I ask you what is cos b, how you will find? First, acha sir, we have to tell or you are doing. Yeah, no, no, you have to tell. Sir, first Pythagoras theorem by doing Pythagoras theorem AC we have to find. Hmm. And sir, then formula apply करके भी have to solve. Okay, fine. You can do that. So if you use Pythagoras theorem, you will get what is the value of AC, and then cos B is adjacent upon. Your cos B will be uh, adjacent. If this is right angle, your adjacent side will be eight, and your hypotenuse is seventy. So that is eight yes. by seventy. Okay. Even if you need uh, what is tan C uh, in that time, uh, you will need opposite upon adjacent. So you need I AC. So using Pythagoras, you have to find what is AC. Sir, for all we need AC. Yeah, for all, all you need AC. So I think you will be able to solve this kind of questions, right? Yeah. This We have question. to solve and send. No, no, no. Okay. This questions have been solved, no, in the class. I'm just saying to it whether you know it or not. Uh, so that I can go ahead in that process. It's not so easy. Yeah. Let's solve question number five directly. Yeah. If the value of sine a is three by five, then you have to find what will be the value of tan a. And what is will be the value of cos a? So what you can do, you can make a triangle like this, yeah. And uh, if this is my angle a, and this is b, and this is c, okay. So if sine a is three by five, we know that sine a will be equal to opposite upon hypotenuse. Opposite is b c upon a c. So the value of b yes. c should be three, and the value of a c should be five. Five. Again, using Pythagoras, you can see that this will be four. Then you can find what will be tan a. What will be tan a? That is opposite upon adjacent. That is three upon five. Yeah. And what will be the yes. value of cos a? That is adjacent upon hypotenuse. Adjacent is four and hypotenuse is five. So answer is four by five. Clear? Yeah. Next. Now over here they have given the value of cos a and you have to evaluate the value of sine a minus cot a upon two tan a. 
so what you can do in this kind of question you have to find by using the triangle only okay uh, see I'll solve uh, the question number nine this kind of questions have been solved no sir no no fine see they have given the value of tan a is 4 by 3 so what I can say if I make a triangle over here like this and if I say this is my a this is B and this is C they have given the value of tan a is 4 by 3 so this will be 4 and this will be 3 but see to it you cannot say that this will be 4 only because if the value of BC is uh, 8 and the value of AB is 6 then also the value of tan a will be 4 by 3 yes yeah because you will simplify it no anyhow so that's why what we will say we will not say this as 4 we will say this as 4x and this as 3x why because x can be any number now see if x is 2 or if, if x is 3 then it will be bc will be 12 and ab will be 9 again if i do tan a it will be do it will what you will get 12 by 9 and ultimately it will be 4 by 3 right so if the value of tan a equals 4 by 3 that means the value of bc does not mean it will be equal to 4 it can be equal to 4 into the common multiple that is x and ab will also be 3 into the common multiple that is x so if this is 4x and this is 3x by using pythagoras i can say this will be 5x okay after this now you have to find the value of this cosec a minus this whatever so what you have cosec a upon cot a minus sec a right this is what you need to find so cosec a will be if this is a cosec will be what hypotenuse upon opposite yes hypotenuse is ac and opposite is bc bc ac upon bc it will be pi x upon 4x do not shout sorry yeah and cot a will be opposite upon edges sorry adjacent upon opposite that is ab upon bc sec a will be a what hypotenuse upon adjacent hypotenuse is ac upon adjacent that is ab right so what you get ultimately if you take this triangle now if you take this triangle ac is how much 5x upon bc is 4x upon ab is 3x bc is 4x minus ac is 5x upon ab is 3x right this xx xx will get cancelled this also xx will get cancelled so what you get 5 by 4 upon 3 by 4 minus 5 by 3 right let me check once cot a will be adjacent upon uh, opposite 3 by 4 okay sec a will be hypotenuse upon adjacent 5 upon 3 yeah and this cosec a will be hypotenuse upon opposite 5 upon 4 yeah everything is right now if i want to solve this this will be 5 by 4 as it is over here we'll do the cross multiplication 4 3s are 12 3 3s are 9 4 5s are 20 right so this will be 5 by 4 into this will get reversed in the numerator yes sir 12 upon 9 minus 20 that is minus 11 so 4 3s are sir 15 upon minus 11 exactly minus 15 upon 11 this would be your answer got it fine now the next kind of sum uh, see all these sums are almost similar so you can solve this these two questions in your homework this questions have this question have been solved by me okay now uh, okay if 4 cot a equals 3 how you will find the value of sine a anyone please tell me verbally sir uh, 4 cot a is equal to 3 that wala yeah sir can i tell yeah Sir, so uh, a uh, cot a would be equal to three upon four. Exactly. Then uh, it then would be base upon height. Yes. Then using Pythagoras theorem, we can yeah, find yeah, the yeah. hypo height. Got hypo it. Got it. I said clear. I hope everyone has understood how to solve. Yeah. Yes. Okay. The next, the next is they have given cos a equals zero point six. Find all other trigonometric ratios for angle A. How you will find? 
sector uh, cost a is equal to 0 0.6 upon 1 so sir cost, cost equals 0 0.6 upon 1 okay then Sir, so cost would be uh, 0 0.6 would be the base and 1 would be the hypotenuse. Okay. So, that is also using fine. Pythagoras theorem. We can do in other this... method, no? 6 upon 10. Ha, 6 upon. Then if you simplify it, it will be 3 upon 5. Again, the same thing as you used to do in the previous sums. Got it? The same way you used to do in the previous sum. Next. Uh... The next is in a right angle triangle it is given that A is an acute angle and this it's the same. Yeah. This is also the same kind of it's only the tri they have given in terms of P and Q. Fine. Let's solve this. 13 sum. Sir can you tell sums from Frank also? <laughs> yeah. Can we solve sums from Frank also? I don't have the Frank book. That's the problem. Can you send any one of you? Can you send me uh, the Frank book? Then I can I can solve it from. I, I normally I use uh, this uh, Selena book only for teaching. But only in direction classes uh, means you you guys are from the that particular school, no? We'll, we'll Sir, try to arrange. Yeah, yeah. Sir, this one you are asking the question. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can no, I tell? No, no, I'm not asking question on this. Now we are going to solve this question. What they have given? The value of sine theta equals P upon Q. Fine. If sine theta equals P upon Q. So if I make a triangle over here like this. So if sine theta equals P upon Q. P upon Q. Right. Opposite upon hypotenuse. So if this is A, B and C. So, Sir, it will be opposite upon hypotenuse, so AC will be P, no? So no opposite, nah. opposite, opposite is BC, no? Yeah. Opposite BC only. Fine. So it will be P and this will be Q. So what will be the value of AB? Let us find first what will be the value of AB. So what we can do, AB square plus BC square will be equal to AC square. AB we do not know. So AB square will be equal to AC square minus BC square. Yeah. The value of AC is how much Q square and the value of BC that is P square. So the value of AB will be under root of Q square minus P square. So I can write this as under root of Q square minus P square. Yes or no? I can write this. Yeah. Now if I need the value of now I need the value of what? Yeah, now I need what? Cos theta plus sin theta. So, cos theta plus sin theta equals. Cos theta equals what? Adjacent upon hypotenuse. That is root of Q square minus P square upon hypotenuse that is Q plus sin theta that is opposite upon hypotenuse that is P upon Q. Right? So, your answer will be the Q both are common. So, Q you can write as it is. So, it will be P plus under root of Q square minus P square, right? So this would be your answer. Clear? Yeah? The next, uh, if cos A sin beta is given, this is easy. This is also easy. Yeah. Can you try to solve the 16th question? Yes. Yes, sir. Yep, I will try. try. Yeah. Now see over here what is given in this question. Sir, I am almost almost done, almost done it, sir. One second. Okay. Do we have to send in normal fraction or in fraction. mixed fraction? Or in mixed fraction, sir. Normal fraction or mixed fraction, anything is fine. Okay. Normal fraction will be convenient for you to write. See over here, what, what they have given, the value of tan x equals 1, 1 by 3. That means they are given in the mixed fraction. So answer will be 3 into 1 plus 1. It will be 3 into 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4 by 3. It is actually, the value of tan x is 4 by 3. Now if I make a triangle for this.
yeah if i make a triangle for this if this is your x this will be 4 by 3 so this will be 5 yeah so find the value of sin x so the value of sin x will be opposite upon hypotenuse 4 upon 5 and the value of cos x will be adjacent upon hypotenuse that is 3 upon 5 right Chantel James is that clear to you or not sure tell me why it is 3 upon 5 so you can you hear me yeah yes sir uh why cos 6 is 3 upon 5? Arjun, can you please tell why cos 6 is 3 upon 5? Sir, I don't know. So who will ask when I'm explaining? I'm asking, is that clear? So why didn't you, why did you not say that? Yes, Lok, tell me why cos 6 is 3 upon 5? Based upon hypotenuse. What? Sir, based on hypotenuse. Yeah, adjacent upon hypotenuse. Yeah, base upon hypotenuse or adjacent upon hypotenuse. Both is fine. Yeah, what we can say? It is adjacent upon hypotenuse. That's why. Why it is sin x is equals to this and cos x equals to this. We know that sin x equals what? Opposite upon hypotenuse or perpendicular upon hypotenuse. We also say it as perpendicular upon hypotenuse. So, in this, the perpendicular one is 4 and hypotenuse is 5. That's why. Similarly, the value of cos x equals adjacent upon hypotenuse or we also say it as base upon hypotenuse. Yeah. So, adjacent is 3 and hypotenuse is 5. Got it now? Yeah. Arjun, is that clear to you? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. So, uh, this all values, we got the value of our sin x and cos x. Now, the only thing is, you just have to put the values in it and get the answer of this. You need to find what will be the value of this. So, this will be equal to 4 and the value of sin x, that is 4 by 5. So, 4 by 5 whole square minus 3 cos x value, that is 3 by 5 and whole square plus 2, right? So this will be 4 into 16 by 25 minus 3 into 9 by 25 plus 2. 4 into 16 is how much? 64 by 25 minus 3 into 9, 27 upon 25 plus 2. So this will be 25 in the denominator as it is. So 14 minus 7 is 7 and 5 minus 2 is 3. Okay, and then plus 2. Then this will be 25 then 37 plus 50 that is 87 upon 25 this would be your answer clear slok is that clear to you sure sir so yeah uh, if we keep it like this only then they won't cut our marks because in the question it was given in mixed fraction no no it does not matter even if you give the answer like this or even if you give in the mixed fraction both are fine you can also okay. write the answer as, see if you if you want to write in the mixed fraction, you can write the answer as 237 by 25. But wait, no, this 37 is greater than 25, no? So 25 into 3, that is 75. So 3 and uh, you can write this as 75 Sir. plus 7 minus 5 is 2, 8 minus 7 is 1 upon 25. Now, if I divide by 25 on both sides, it will be 75 upon 25 plus 12 upon 25. So, this will be 3 plus 12 upon 25. Then, this can be written as 3, 12 by 25. When you are writing in the mixed fraction, the numerator should be less than the denominator. Got it? Yes. Yeah? And this would be your answer. Clear? Now, the next question. Now, see over here what, what they have given. AD is perpendicular to BC. And AC, the value of AC they have given 26. The value of CD they have given 10. The value of BC they have given 42. That means this whole length is 42. That means this will be 32. Right? And the angle DAC. Angle DAC is 
DAC is X and angle B is Y. Find the value of cot X. Now to get the value of cot X, first you will need AD. Right? So first what you will do? In triangle ADC, what you have? AC square will be equal to AD square plus CD square. So your AD square will be equal to AC square minus CD square. AC is 26 square minus CD is 10 square. You can apply A square minus B square. So it will be A plus B into A minus B. So 26 plus 10 into 26 minus 10 you can do. AD square equals. So AD square equals 26 plus 10 that is 36 into 26 minus 10 is 16. So AD will be square root of 36 into 16. So that will be 6 into 4. 4 6 are 24. So the value of AD is 24. Got it? Yeah. Once you get the value of AD, you can find what will be the value of AB. Yeah. Similarly, what we can say? AB square will be equal to AD square plus BD square. AB is, uh, sorry, AD is 24 plus BD is 32 square. Okay. Can I write this as 24 plus 32 and 24 minus 32? Yes or no? I can write this. How many of you are saying yes? Please raise your hands. Sir, 6 into 4. How many of you are saying yes? yes we can do this. Sir, can yes, you sir. ask the question again? Sir, we can do this because, because uh, 36 is 6 into 6 and 16 is 4 into 4. So we will take 6 and 4 outside. What I am asking is this step I can write yes or no? Yes. Achha, that step. Achha, okay, I thought that other step. On the other what do you say? We can write this step? Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, no, sir. Because 24 square minus 32 square. Rena right. Yes. This is A square, square minus B square. Right? Everyone was saying yes. Sir, when you will ask like this question, that means answer is no only. <laughs> so I ask in between, but everyone just, uh, yeah, right. Whatever you are doing is right. It's not like that. Yeah? So you should not be doing like this. Why? Because there is plus in between. So for this, you don't have any formula over here. You have to directly solve it. Okay, 24 square. What is the square of 24? 576. And what is the square of 32? 1024. Okay. So if you add them, 6 plus 4, 10. Uh, 10 again. 6 and 1. Okay, so AB square equals 1600. So AB will be equal to square root of 1600. And the value of square root of 1600 will be 40. So the value of AB is how much? 40. Now everything is easy. If, even if you want to now. So what will be the value of cortex now? That is adjacent upon opposite. That is adjacent upon opposite we can also say it as base upon perpendicular yeah so why i am saying this as adjacent upon opposite not base upon a perpendicular and all can any one of you tell me why i am writing this this adjacent upon opposite? here the base is dc yeah that's the problem that's why uh, i recommend that do not use base and perpendicular use adjacent and opposite the problem is if you if you remember with base and perpendicular the problem is that if i say cortex equals you will take the base as cd only no yes or no are you getting it that's the problem that's why do not use as base and perpendicular always use adjacent opposite and all so that you will not be in confusion so what is the adjacent adjacent means what baju wala right 
what is adjacent to x that is ad and what is opposite samne wala yeah what is opposite in front of it right so adjacent will be just adjacent to it that is ad and opposite is in opposite to it that is cd got it so the value of ad is how much 24 and the value of cd is 10 so cortex is this much clear you can also simplify this this will be uh, cortex will be equal to uh, this is 5 and this is uh, 12 12 upon 5 yeah this will be the value of cortex similarly you can find rest of the values you just have to solve it what do you think you will be able to solve the second and third or not okay do one thing solve this third question and tell me so what i was asking is that i have solved all this thing find the value of this can you do it start doing it sir uh, uh, of what sir i could not see the screen the third question you need to solve acha what do you think you will be able to solve yes sir okay easily now see over here i'll solve it for you since i'm not getting answer from rest of the students see what you have the value of cos x as cos x will be adjacent upon hypotenuse the value of adjacent is 24 and the hypotenuse is 25 you also need cos y the value of cos y will be cos y will be adjacent upon hypotenuse again the adjacent is 32 and hypotenuse is 40 and you also need tan y the value of tan y so that you will need opposite upon adjacent the opposite will be 24 and the adjacent will be 32 right so you'll have to use all these values to solve the value so to solve this so what you have 6 upon cos x minus 5 upon cos y plus 8 tan y right this is what you need to solve so this will be 6 upon cos x cos x value is 24 upon 25 Minus five upon cos y. The value of cos y is thirty-two upon forty. Plus eight tan y. The value of tan y is twenty-four upon thirty-two. Okay. So first of all, to solve this six upon this is in fraction. The denominator fraction can come in the numerator by reversing it. So it will be six into twenty-five upon twenty-four minus five into forty upon thirty-two. Plus eight into twenty-four upon thirty-two. This is what you have. Now let's try to simplify them. Uh, three twos are, three eights are, two fours are. So it will be twenty-five upon four minus uh, four eight two twenties are, two ones are, six are. Then it will be two tens are, eights are, two fives are. Four zero. It will be five upon four plus eight into what is thirty two? Four eights are four, and this is four six are twenty four. So plus yeah. six. So this will be twenty five upon four minus five upon four will be twenty upon four plus six. Twenty upon four will be five. Oh wait, I'm getting the answer in number. Integer. Any mistake? Twenty-five upon twenty-four, six fours are twenty-four. Forty upon thirty-two. This will be five eight five eights are and five fours are no. Eight fours are four eights are thirty-two. Four fives are twenty. Okay, five upon four. Yeah, this five is left. No. Five into five is twenty-five. Wait. Twenty-five upon four minus twenty-five upon four. Eight into twenty-four upon thirty-two. 
There is some problem, wait. Any, everything is right. Cos x is adjacent upon hypotenuse. Yeah, this hypotenuse is 26, no? No one corrected me, the one who have given the answer. What they are doing? Shubhangi, Ashutosh. What, sir? This I have written this as 24 upon 25. You did not give me any correction. Sir, sir because I did not see that. Okay. So this should be 24 upon 26. Okay. Cos y is adjacent upon 40 of 2 upon 32 upon 40. Sir, you had scrolled it up. No, that's why. Okay, okay. Tan x, tan y will be equal to opposite upon adjacent. Yeah, everything is right. So this should be 24 upon 26. Okay. So we'll solve this part again. This should be 6 into 26 upon 24. So 4, 6 are 24. 2 are 13 are 13 upon 2 so this should be 13 upon 2 minus 25 by 4 plus 6 okay so this will be this I can write it as 26 upon 4 minus 25 upon 4 plus 6 so this will be 1 by 4 plus 6 so this will be 4 in the denominator 1 plus 4 6 are 24 so answer is 25 by 4. Yeah, the answer is right. Clear everyone? Yes, sir. Yeah, so Arjun, what, where you were getting stuck, you did not give the answer? Sir, uh, I did it till there. 6, 26 upon 4, that all I did. After that, I was not able to. Fine. It's a normal algebra only. Rest of the part. Now, next question. So this type of questions we have solved. You please try solving this question in your homework. The one who haven't solved, class try the, the third one also. Okay. Okay. Now from this question, from the following figure, find y. They are asking. Sin x and sec x minus tan x and sec x plus tan x. You need to find all this. Fine. Let's find it. It's an easy question actually. But let's not solve it. Because, see, the value of this will be, the value of y will be uh, root of, root of 2 or root of 3, something like that you will get. Root of, yeah, let's solve it. See, if I say this is my triangle A, B and C. I know by Pythagoras, that is 2 square will be equal to 1 square plus y square. This 2 square is 4 equals 1 plus y square so y square will be equal to 4 minus 1 that is 3 and the value of y will be root 3 right the value of y will be root 3 so the answer of this is root 3 the value of sin x that is opposite upon hypotenuse sin x degree will be what opposite upon hypotenuse what is opposite opposite to this is ab the value of ab is y and y, y is root 3 and hypotenuse this is root 3. Hypotenuse is 2. So, will be the value of sin x degree equals root 3 upon 2. Is this clear? Am I going too fast or it's fine? It's fine. Arjun? Sir, understood. What I am telling is, what I am asking is, the, the speed which I am maintaining, it's it's fine for you or you want me to go slow or how? Does no, sir. It's perfect. Perfect? Okay. Chantal James, what about you? Sir, a little more slow. Okay, a little slow. Okay. Then this. Okay. Fine. See, why I am going fast? Because this, pa this topic has already taught to you, no? That's why I am going fast. I think that you have solved this type of questions. Now tell me the questions which we are solving. Did you solve this type of questions in the class or not? In school or this? No, uh, in, in DC. Which I did now. Yeah. Yes, sir. I did the previous one. I'm asking. 
whether you have solved this type of question with Nikita ma'am? No ma'am, no sir, that time I was having a power cut. Okay. Shubhangi, so I could, I could hardly see it. No sir, no. No, na? Okay, fine. Then I'll go a bit slow. Why I'm going fast was due to, means I thought that this type of question may be have solved. You said no first two exercises have been covered. This is the second exercise only. Sir, in Frank, the sums are not there. No, so that's why. Okay. Fine. Those sums are different or how it is? How are they? No, no, sir. It is there, but in the first and ex second exercise, it is not there. Okay. Fine. Uh, the next is, uh, let's solve. Yeah, this is done. The value of sin x we have done. Similarly, you have to find sec x tan x, sec x tan x and solve it and you'll get the answer of this. Okay. Next question. Let's solve question number two. Now, what do you have over here? Sin x. Fine. See over here, I'll solve it for you. Some of the students have given the answer, but not all of you. See, for sin x, for sin x degree, if I say this is a, b, c, and d, sin x will be opposite upon adjacent. Opposite upon hypotenuse, the value of opposite is BC and hypotenuse is AC. The value of BC is 8 and the value of AC is 17. Okay. This will be the value of sin x. For cos y, it is adjacent upon hypotenuse. Adjacent is BD and hypotenuse is DC. But we do not know what is DC. But we can get it. What is DC? How do we get it? DC square will be equal to square root of 6 square plus 8 square by using Pythagoras. 6 square is 36 plus 64. Answer is 10. So the value of DC is 10. So the value of cos y will be BD that is 6 and the value of DC that is 10. So answer is 3 upon 5. Got it? This will be the value of cos y. After that you need to find what is this? 3 tan x minus 2 sin y plus 4 cos y. Let's put the values. 3 into tan x. To find tan x you need opposite as well as the adjacent. Right? But you don't know what is the value of ad. How do you get the value of ad? Anyone? How we can find the value of Sir, ad? Sir, ad Pythagoras. Okay. What you will do? Tell me. Sir, AD is equal to 8 square plus 6 square. That is CB square plus... Wait and tell me what will be the value of AD? So, one minute. Uh, okay. So, what do we do to find the value of AD? See, we know that AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. Okay. To find the value of AD, we'll do this. The value of AC is 17 square. AB is we do not know it. And BC is we know it. So AB square will be equal to 17 square minus 8 square. So AB square will be equal to 17 plus 8 into 17 minus 8. Is this right? Yes. Now it sure. is right. Okay. 17 plus 8, this will be 7 plus 8, uh, 15 or uh, 25 into 17 minus 8, that is 9. Okay, so the value of AB will be 5 into 3, so the value of AB is 15. Got it? Value of AB is 15. So if the value of AB is 15, okay, the whole AB is 15 and this is 6, then it will be, AD will be 9. And now the one who said A, you said 10, no? Now, 3 into tan x. Now, ta tan x for tan x, this whole AB is how much? 15, no? So, for tan x opposite upon adjacent, that is uh, BC upon AB, the whole. Minus 2 into sin y. The value of sin y will be, uh, sin is opposite upon hypotenuse again. That is BC upon A, uh, BC. Yeah, plus 4 cos y, 
the value of cos y will be adjacent upon hypotenuse that is bd into dc fine now you will write the values bc uh, this was tan x uh, opposite 8 upon 15 minus 2 into bc 8 upon 10 plus 4 into bd that is 6 upon dc uh, dc that is 10 okay so this will be 3 phi's are this will be 8 upon 5 minus uh, this will be 5 that is 8 upon 5 again plus 2 5 2 6 are 12 upon 5 so the answer will be this and this gets cancelled the answer will be 12 upon 5 got it clear everyone how many of you have understood please raise your hands like this Reagan, uh, Ashitosh, Chantal, James, Arjun Shetty, Shubhangi, all of you. Okay, fine. Next. Now, in the diagram given below, triangle ABC is right angled at B and DBC. You can find this, but this is different. Can you find what is cot cos of angle DBC? Try doing the third sum by yourself. What do you think you will be able to solve or you want me to solve? Sir, please solve. Please solve. Okay. Fine. So this is 5 and this is 12. So what will be this hypotenuse? AC will be 13 by Pythagoras. Yeah, we know that. Now in the diagram given below, triangle ABC is right angled at B and BD is perpendicular. This is also perpendicular. So if, uh, okay, we need to find cos of angle DBC, cos of angle DBC. So if I want to find that, so what we can do? In this type of triangle, we I know one of the- Sir, I think we need to take uh, uh, AD as X, sir. Then 13 minus X we will get. CD. Yeah, we can do it with that method also. If I take this as x, this will be 13 minus x and this will also be in terms of that. And then if I use Pythagoras in one of the triangle, you will get the value of x. You can do that. See, if I say dc as x, then this will be 13 minus x. Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. So, now uh, if this is x, this is phi, what will be this in triangle? In triangle BDC, what I know that is BC square will be equal to CD square plus BD square. Yes or no? You can you can see this, but BC is how much? Phi square, CD is X square plus BD square, which we do not know. Okay, so BD square will be equal to Phi square minus X square. And ultimately, I'll get BD equals square root of phi square minus x square. Yes or no? What I get? The value of BD as square root of phi square minus x square. Okay. Yes. Now, in triangle ADC, sorry, ADB, in triangle ADB. Now, what you have in triangle ADB? AB square will be equal to AD square plus BD square, yes or no? Yeah. So the value of AB will be 12 square will be equal to AD, that is 13 minus X whole square, and BD is root of 5 minus X, 5 square minus X square, the whole square, yes or no? Yes. You can write this. Now this 12 square is 144. 13 minus x the whole square. I will be doing a minus b whole square. a square that is 13 square is 169 minus, minus 2 into a b. 26 is, x. Yeah. Plus minus x, x plus x square. Uh -huh. Plus the square root of this will be phi square minus x square. Because the yes. square root and square will get cancelled. This x square and minus x square will get cancelled up. This phi square will be 25. 144 equals 169 minus 26 x plus 25 yeah so if i take this minus 26 on this side it will be 26x 
will be equal to 169 plus 25 minus 144 yes right so 26x will be equal to 9 minus 4 125 please do not shout i will ask you question only then you have to answer yeah 9 minus 4 is 5 6 minus 4 is 2 1 minus 1 is 0 plus 25 is it right yeah x equals 50 upon 26 we are getting but is it right wait uh, we can still count it value of x is 50 yeah you can cancel it yeah the answer is right most probably so it is 25 upon 13 right uh, x is 25 upon, yeah you cannot cancel further so the value of x is 25 by 13 what we are getting the value of x as 25 by 13 so that is cd what you are getting is what you are guessing, getting is cd equals 25 by 13 so ad will be 13 minus 25 by 13 ad will be the total length that is 13 minus 25 by 13 right so this will be 13 in the lcm 13 into 13 that is 169 minus 25 that will be 9 minus 5 is 4 6 minus 2 is 2 6 minus 2 is 4 and this is 144 upon 13 is it so the value of ad is 144 upon 13 now what you need angle cos of angle dbc now cos of angle dbc dbc will be adjacent now if this is if this is the angle the adjacent will be bd upon bd upon hypotenuse that is phi so the value of bd is how much did we get the value of bd that is root of phi square minus x square we need to find what is bd also by getting the value of x since we got the value of x so we'll find what is bd also If I solve it over here, the value of BD equals root of phi square minus the value of X is 25 by 13, the whole square. So 25 by 13, whole square. So this will be 25 minus 625 upon 169. Oh, you are getting fine. Square root of 169, 25 into 169 minus 625 so what i can do i can write it as 169 i can take 25 as in common so this will be 169 minus 25 this will be square root of 25 into 144 upon 169 now square root of all of them i know that is 25 square root is 5 144 square root is 12 and this is 13 so answer is 5 into 12 that is 60 upon 13 this will be the value of bd got it so uh, cos of angle dbc dbc will be equal to bd uh, yeah bd upon hypotenuse that is 5 so what is the value of bd 60 upon 13 60 upon 13 divided by 5 upon 1 so this will be 60 upon 13 into 1 upon 5 so if you cancel this this will be 12 upon 13 got it actually the sum became too much complex as we have taken this as x we can also solve the same sum by using similarity also you have done similarity no similarity topic is completed from from your side no no that that's why we if we take otherwise if the similarity is completed then this question would be very easy okay then it would be very easy to find actually uh, this bd value and all i will tell you that also wait so the answer which we got is exactly right the answer is cos of angle dpc the what you got cos of angle dbc is 12 by 13 the answer is right in this case also what you need the next you need is cos of angle dba
the next angle which you need is cos of angle DBA DBA so that will be again adjacent what will be adjacent that is AB uh, sorry adjacent will be BD DBA no yeah BD upon hypotenuse that is 12 so again the value of BD is how much BD is uh, 60 upon 13 divided by 12 upon 1 so it will be 60 upon 13 into 1 upon 12 so if you cancel it will be 5 by 13 got it this will be cos of angle DBA